Hello, dear viewers. This is Antilles Gaming here, and today we are back on Firewatch. <sighs> I hope the audio is coming through a little clearer. I tried to get it to where the buttons don't sound, don't come up in the mic, but I don't know. I still trying to figure out how to do that in general. Every time I look up a video, people say, "Just mess with the knobs." Well, I mess with the knobs, but then it. Every, but then my voice doesn't come through clearly. So yeah, those basically aren't any help. Uh, but it looks like we got a radio message from Delilah, I believe. I believe her name was. So yeah, let's go see what she has to say. So it looks like we're going fix a wire or something. But still, I wonder, like, who threw, like, it had to be someone that threw my, uh, my typewriter out the window, but it couldn't have been the girls because... It was giving me a button prompt. Oh. Yeah, it could have been the girls because if it was them, then how would they have gotten to my station that fast? Okay, that's where I'm at. I need to go back to that cave. Okay, which way is the cave? I think when I came back through the cave, I think it was... I think it was this way? No, I gotta head... Oh, what? Hold on. Uh, let me see, let me see, uh... Okay, when I came back, I came back... This... Yeah, this way. This way. It has, to... has to be this way, because I think I remember... Yeah, because I was asking her about the generator situation or whatever. Survey the line, the lines north of the canyon. Okay, so yeah, I think if I just keep heading this way, then I should be fine. It's like at that point, it's like. Might as well just jump off. I mean, I'm jumping off already, so. Um, not really a point for a button prompt if 
I'm just doing what I can just do without the button prompt. <sighs> I'm glad that I finally decided to play this game because with especially with Doom being out right now uh, I need I need a game that's more calming than actiony. Plus, I've always wanted to play this. Even before the uh even before the Doom came out. and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Uh, bigger question. What was that about? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oh, boy. And now she's mad at me. But, yeah, the whole thing of... Well... The whole thing of... It's not any of my business, well, you... Sounded like you were talking about me, so kind of sounds like it's my business. They don't have it. They don't have it marked, so I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Said north of the canyon, and they did say that we had to go through the cave, so. Wait, uh, is that it? Or was that, like... Found it! <laughs> From a distance, it, I kind of didn't know, like, if that was just, like, a path with, like, a... A rope guardrail or something. <sighs> Guess we found... Where we're supposed to go. Okay, so I had to load back because I don't know my game was acting a little strange, but uh, we should be fine now. Also, turn down the vo the gamma. I think. Let me. No, I turned down the uh, gain just a little bit, so hopefully it comes through. It's just that whenever I use it on PlayStation, it gives a really big, uh, cause I plugged my headset into the microphone and it gives like a really big echo back into my headset. So I didn't, and like, I don't know, I just, it was really starting to bother me. So, I, uh, turned the gain down just a little bit. Hopefully it still comes through clearly. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Now, from what I can gather, these 
these episodes, like, basically, they, these things happen in, like, days. Like, day one, day two, day three. So, depending on how long this lasts, I might make it, like, where every day is an episode. And we'll see how that goes. That we can keep it fairly short and keep it fairly entertaining. <sighs> uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Also, I'm recording this around like 12.04 at night on a Saturday, so if, if I sound like I'm talking a little low, that's why. It's just, with all this virus stuff, it's like I've been busy with everything, so... I can see it from here. That wire is definitely down. Looks like there's also a supply box. Yeah, I can see it from here. That wire is down. Are you kidding me? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. girls be so stupid trust me I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager also I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman having been one well considering the first time I met you you were drunk so like seriously the first time that we met you were you admitted that you were drunk And more cans. Okay, if those girls did this, like... Like, this isn't funny. This can literally get a lot of people killed. Because this is how we... This is how we communicate with... Rangers and all that. If there's a fire. And if I can't communicate with them... Well, then a lot of people are gonna die. I can see the law is placed from here and more cans. Oh, I can see another can down there. Yep. It was definitely them. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. 
Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Mm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Okay, how many of these cans do they have? Like, were they carrying a case on the way here? Don't, like, okay, if I'm, if you're carrying it, like, a case of cans, like, just, why? I mean, yeah, like, I'll pat, like, if I'm going somewhere, like, I'll put, I'll just take some and, like, put it, like, in a bottle or something. I don't carry around cans in my bag. I guess I can't go that way, so, I guess it was this way. Okay, like it gives me two options to jog. Well, yeah, I'm jogging th this way too. Yeah, so I can either hit the button I usually hit to sprint, or I can hit square for some reason. Two Forks Lookout, Jonesy Lake, Thoroughfare. Ah, Dang it, there was a supply bin back there. Whoa. Okay, it keeps... I keep seeing prompts. Backpack? With some rope hanging off a cliff? What the f... Brian Goodwin? Who the heck is that? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Well, why the, why would they, must have been an emergency or something. Well, I'm bored. 
ground is robbed, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Yeah, I see smoke, so pretty sure I know where they're at. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Ooh, fossilized claw. Oh, come on. I can't keep it? Like, that's something that you keep. Like, loose stone. Okay, like, who's putting random stuff in here? Like I said, I'll keep the, uh, I would keep that claw, but, eh, whatever, I guess he's not interested in those kind of things. Okay, uh, that's, fire is to the, more the south, southwest, so, I think I need to head this way. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. here and it's beautiful and escaping isn't always something bad yeah sure like I gotta go do a thing but I'll have a radio okay call me if you need to <sighs> kind of wish I was over at her radio station and she was at mine eh, then again if she was at mine then she'd be having to deal with this and See what I can do? No. I want this guy to have to roll his lazy ass all the way out here. A flapjack is a choice phrase, by the way. It really fits the bill in this case. <laughs> I believe I'm still heading in the right direction. I'm pretty sure it was this way. Oh, another big drop. Oh, wait, nope. Oh, no, good. It's a climb area. I mean, even not, I mean, I, not like I couldn't get out. I could just go around, but... <sighs> Henry does Henry. Okay, yeah, I'm still heading in the right direction. Uh, okay, there, yeah, there we go. Zoink! Uh, I live right next to the woods. I always remember whenever I was little. Uh, me and my sisters would always go, would always go out and walk in the woods. Oh, wrong button. Uh 
Uh, looks like it's more over here. Oh! Yeah, the campfire is more over here, so... Yeah, it would probably be better if I go this way. Yeah, I didn't realize that they actually had... That he actually marked it on the map where the fire was. Now, hopefully I can get to the path from this... From this, uh... Direction. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think I just gotta keep my eye out for... The path that I took down to the lake... Yesterday. And that should get me there, hopefully. I wonder if I'm gonna have to, like, see, like, bears and stuff. I mean... I would hear- I mean, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so... It makes sense that I would see some wildlife. Also, I'm still on the lookout for... On the lookout for this! The turtle! Oh! I'm gonna adopt you! Oh! I could have radioed that in! Uh, hold on, hold on, give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay, I loaded back because I really wanted to, uh... I really wanted to see what the dialogue was for the turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a... Uh... I love Shelly Duvall, I love but I'm gonna go with Turt Reynolds. <laughs> Yeah, I love Shelly Duvall, but I don't know, something about Turt Reynolds just... <laughs> I don't want to know where I'm at now, so... Ooh, candy bar. Yeah, I forgot to close it last time I was here. Uh, okay, now it's getting a little hard to... Okay, looks like we just gotta keep going forward and then turn there. And that sure looks like it's a pretty long trek there. So, I'm gonna be right back. And if anything... If any dialogue or anything happens during the way, I'll include it in the video, but I don't know. Like I said, it's just a long walk there, and I don't want the entire video just to be me walking for all that time. So yeah, be right back. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. 
Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Guess there. No, we just came from that way. So this way. Oh, no, I can't see the smoke anymore. Love a skinny dipping. I bet they're nearby. Uh huh. Found another. Roger that. Because he was right about that. Out here, it looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I mean, unless that was my blanket or something, but why would they? Pieces of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Uh, first day on the job, and I gotta deal with this stuff. Looks like they were the ones that did it. I found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. So are you gonna pick them up? I mean. That's all that mystery of what happened to the typewriter and dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. <laughs> well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Okay, but you would think that he would actually, you know, get the, uh, You think he would? You would think he would actually pick up his sheets. I mean, the tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear, or um, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull <sighs> if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Help 
but maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Okay, yeah, at this point, I would be taking my blankets back, and I'd be taking this back. I mean... I mean, I need freaking blankets, too. I hope you're happy we're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us on the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it's worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. This isn't that hard. Do you know Raleigh Fingers, who pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Arr. Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god. God, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Now this can't be that hard. Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. No deal, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. I know it's not easy. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. 
Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. Uh, well, it looks like we're actually running away longer than I thought we would, and really longer than I hoped we would. But, yeah. We're gonna call it for this episode. Next episode, we'll pick up right here, and... I guess go from there. I mean, the girls left, so... Don't really know what else there is to do. I mean, I guess... I mean, the game is called Firewatch, so... I guess the rest of the summer, we're just gonna... Be watching for fire, so... <sighs> yeah. That is going to be it for this episode. So, with all that being said, thanks so you so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave a comment down below. Because comments are the only way I can improve all these, and I love chatting with y'all. Also, if you want to chat with, directly, chat with me directly and check out updates on the channel, check me on my Twitter and Instagram at Antilles Gaming. And with all that being said, I'll see all of you in the next episode.